What's up, guys? Jay? More than ever kill? And I'm back here on Destiny! And if you're wondering what happened to last week's Arms Day video, <laughs> I fucked up! <laughs> now you fucked up! Now you fucked up! You fucked up now! That's what you've done! <laughs> nah, seriously. I was so enamored with the blizzard that uh, we were having that Saturday that I completely forgot to buy any packages before Jure left. And I, I did ask on Twitter to see if anybody else did so. And sadly, no one else bought all five packages either. And I, I, I can't blame you guys. I'm, I, I'm not even going to blame myself, honestly, because I'm, I'm pretty sure the majority of us haven't played as much Destiny as we'd like recently. But uh, there is a new PvP event coming up for Valentine's Day called Crimson Days, featuring the all new game mode Crimson Doubles and True to Form. Banshee has actually brought with him an entire inventory full of fun goodies to try out this new game mode. And the best part is your light level does not matter in Crimson Double. So all these weapons will at least be immediately useful to everybody in the upcoming event. But let's go ahead and not waste any more time because I know what you're here for. I know what you want. Because if you're just like me, you've been holding on to it for quite some time. And yes, oh yes. I'm gonna give it to you. <laughs> the PDX41 package that all of you guys have been holding on to for the last few weeks. And if you have, patience is a virtue and has paid off for you 10 times over because Banshee brought a rank one roll. That means it's available for everyone that owns this package. A PDX41 with fitted stock. Head Seeker, Small Boar, Hot Damn, Fuck Those Eggs and Ham in the Frying Pan because if you want to be the man, you've got to beat the man. Woo! <laughs> and if you thought that was awesome, it couldn't get any better. It even comes with the Increased Target Acquisition SPO28 Holographic Sight. This... It brings a tear to my eye. There's no, no words. They should have said a poet. <laughs> no, that's not enough for you. If you're not impressed, you know, color me, Shania Twain. I'm not much of a post rifle type of guy, Mac. That's fine. No big deal. Go ahead and uh, shake that off just a little bit because if you bought the Suros ARI 41 package, you gotta go ahead and turn your head to the rank 2 package with fitted stock, lightweight, and counterbalanced stability monster, but that's not enough stable for you. If you want to take it to the extreme, go ahead and swap out that lightweight perk for that extra hand laid stock and enjoy that stability bonus overkill. You're still not really feeling the all the rifles. It's not your cup of tea. Maybe, maybe you like a little bit more damage, a bit more precision. Maybe you're more comfortable with a hand cannon. Well, the rank one Gaharis D has triple tap, Zen moment, and explosive rounds. But maybe. You bought the Omelon Ufern HC4 instead. But <laughs> don't worry! Banshee's got you too this week with a Zen Moment Triple Tap and Brace Frame Joint! What? So, no matter which hand cannon package you bought last week, that blue bastard's got your back. <laughs> Now for the rest of you guys that bought the Thesin FR4 Fusion Rifle, I would go with the Rank 1 version that has accelerated coils. It'll give you a faster charge up time to get off a pretty extremely powerful bolt of energy. Faster than normal, faster than most people would expect it. Although, 
Like I said, it's kind of rare to see anybody using fusion rifles in a crucible these days. I, I, I can see them being kind of effective with the broken heart buff in Crimson Doubles, especially since there's going to be a lot of 1v1 situations and uh, bringing a fusion rifle to the fights. Gonna be a surprise, at the very least. Keep people away from me out of shotgun range, that's for goddamn sure. <laughs> and finally, we come to the Azumi RR4 Sniper Rifle. I've given this gun quite a bit of shits over the last few weeks. This is a little bit of the red-headed stepchild of the Take King Sniper Rifle family, but this week, surprisingly, it's also packing some pretty awesome rolls. I'm, I'm gonna have to give it up to the Uzumi RR for both rank one and rank three being almost 100% identical with the two main perks being luck in the chamber and clown cartridge, which I'm not very sure. Don't quote me on this, but uh, I'm thinking that if you get a headshot, with the luck in the chamber at the same time, you might be able to res snipe in uh, Crimson Doubles. Not 100% on that! However, it does have a pretty good fire rate to hit that follow-up shot, to, and it also has a nice roll for PvE as well. So make sure whichever one that you pick, you pick it in the elemental flavor that you need since they're pretty much both the same. So, my name is Jay. What did I have to kill? I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys read, comment, subscribe. If you can leave a thumbs up on a bitch, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers. Watch my motherfucking videos. But, holy shit. Y y you know, e everyone gave Bungie shit the last few weeks about not having any good roles. And, you know, here we sit. Two weeks later with an entire inventory of perfect rolls, so... <laughs> GG, Bungie, that's... That's no passive-aggressive sarcasm intended. I'm 100% impressed with this week's offering, and you know, I have a few shiny new toys to get playing with the next few days. So, thank you, Bungie. Thank you, Bungie. Both of you, you robotic bastards. <laughs> so, my name's Jay. We're after kill. Thanks for watching, and I'm gonna see you guys. Later.